Guys, Anthony here, Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com. Phone number at the shop here, 412-343-5299. Feel free to give us a ring. If you see something on the website, which is EmpireMusic.com. Uh, if you're local in the Pittsburgh area, please stop in the shop anytime, get to play one of these amazing instruments. And speaking of them, I'll show you a lot of cool Fender Custom Shop stuff. This is no exception. This is the Custom Jazz Bass. So this is a collection model, very cool instrument. Um, ash body with the rosewood board on it. Really nice combination. Ash gives us that little extra zing on top that really, um, where like a maple board gives us like these upper, these like ha upper harmonic characters. The, the ash body gives it this really like nice um, quick treble side and the note like gets out of the way really quick, especially when you dig in as I was playing in the intro there. So two piece alder body, rosewood board, nice combination. Uh, quarter sawn maple neck, 60U profile. Again, a lot of the, the jazz basses that have been coming in have had that 60U. To me, it feels more like a C. I think when we start moving to that inch and a half string spacing here at the nut, um, it sort of um, blurs the line between the U and the C. You feel it a little bit more as you move up here around the 12th fret area, but nothing super deep like you would think of generally with a U neck, which is cool. And the 70s U's give you a little bit more of that, that, uh, that thickness, right? Like again, at the spine point, like the middle point of the back of the neck. Lollipop tuner is always a nice touch. This one's in aged black with the black guard. Vintage pickups in it. So that's what they're calling it. The hand wound jazz bass vintage pickups in there. It's uh, I think like mid to mid late sixties voicing on it, which were not so warm like early sixties like we see with like the stack pot stuff. Um, but it definitely has a little bit more punch that kind of moves you into the seventies characteristics. One of the coolest features on it, it's very simple, but it's an understated thing. And I really dig it when these come in is the chrome knurled knobs here rather than just having the three black knobs on it. But the control layout's the same, volume, tone, tone. Uh, I love this, this thing sounds really nice. I, I, ash is such a nice, I'm so used to playing alder instruments personally. When I get an ash uh, bass in my hand, or even a guitar for that matter, I mean, I'm an awful guitar player, but I, I can notice the tonal differences on the stuff. Anytime we have an ash bodied something, whatever I'm playing, again, there's that, it's just that different characteristic, especially in the upper end of the notes. And I feel like the, again, the note length, I don't wanna say they don't have sustain. It's, it's kind of like the, the envelope point of the, of the note is different with Ash, which is, I really like, I like both a lot and they're really nice to have. I, I just really enjoy being able to play instruments, well-made instruments where you can hear the difference. I think. Uh, whether it's good or bad, right or wrong, is not really the, 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 the commentary on it. I think it's just a matter of when you have a really well-made instrument, you, you can just experience the differences, especially when you A, B them, but even like when you're not referencing them right next to each other, there's just something that you can grab onto harmonically that, that's different and inspiring in some way. And if it just makes you, like I played the intro thing there, even though it's probably the same riff I've played a million times in these videos, because uh, the, the book's pretty small in here, let's put it that way. Uh, it, it just, it, anytime that you, anytime you get an instrument in your hands, then you respond to it and that you play something that is directly associated with the feel and the sound of that instrument, I think you're in a good place, regardless of the price point 
um, and regardless of, of your, your own ability to play. Again, just being inspired by an instrument is a very, very important aspect. Uh, Fender Custom Shop always has that in spades, I feel like. It's why I, I play uh, two of them in my, my, my personal time there. Enjoy, the, enjoy them a lot. So let's go on some of the tones here. Uh, full volume, full tone, wide open. Check it out. Nice, you kind of hear the dynamic range in something like that. Where you, um, again, I, I say this with jazz basses, with a P, it's a real noticeable difference when you start to dig in. And obviously, there is with the two pickups working in conjunction with each other, and you have these like two different magnetic fields. I feel like um, they don't compress the same way as you get out of out of one pickup. There is a certain level of it, and the rosewood certainly helps that in, with this pickup combination. But uh, there's always that jazz bass character to it, even if you play lightly. Or let notes ring out. Let you dig in. Obviously there is a difference there, but there's always the jazz bass character that's never gonna go away. That's why, that's why you like the, an instrument like this. And the versatility is just off the charts because you kind of dive into a little bit of the P bass character when we solo this neck pickup. Very, very barky sort of thing going on there, but not that flonkiness that we normally pull out of the P bass thing. It's definitely a different, it's still a jazz bass, never gets away from it. I'm gonna like that, I think, with a little bit of tone off. It's a little barky there. That's cool too. I mean, it's a, that's, that's, that's a great tone. Very cool. Um, now we're going to bridge pickup. Super bright, tons of attack on that. That's really nice. Oh, 
harmonic there. There we go. Very, very nice. With the roll a bit of tone off of that, that is a sweet sound in jazz. Especially with softer playing, that's very, very sensitive. So just to kind of recap, got both pickups wide open, we're gonna go back to full tone. Neck pick up. So we went from typical jazz bass to kind of like bright, super punchy P bass, back to the bridge pickup. The super bright, super punchy J bridge pickup position. So it really has encapsulates everything you want to get out of a jazz bass. It just flirts a little bit up there with the P bass when we get into the neck pickup, but it obviously has its own jazz bass kind of character to it. So if you see, if you dig this, or if you want to see any of the Fender Custom Shop stuff that we have in stock bass-wise, I'll put a link below if you're watching this on YouTube, or just give me a call or an email. So the phone number is 412-343-5299. You can email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. Uh, the custom jazz bass collection guitar, absolute killer. Love the chrome knobs on a jazz bass. Kind of a nice, not totally unique touch, but you just don't see it as often. I dig it. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching.